Hey guys, some brilliant news just dropped on us on Twitter from the Stadia account. Just stay tuned to find out. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell. So there you have it. Stadia has just tweeted out that five new games are coming soon to Stadia. Five brand new games to Stadia. Oh, this is just It's just great news. It's just nice to hear. It's nice to hear that we're not forgotten about in a sense so this is a community update i'm going to read through this just so that you can have it on in the background and you can maybe tune into this later when you get the chance and read it for yourselves but for now i'm going to just read it out to you i'm not going to get into too much detail i'm going to read what they've written and then i might do a few videos later on going a bit more in depth in what was said here but for now just relax chill and enjoy the sounds of me all right you're already looking forward to Doom Eternal, Get Packed, Orcs Must Die 3, Baldur's Gate 3 and many more games coming to Stadia this year. Now, get set to explore the inner workings of a child's memories or leap into the arcade chaos with your friends with a trio of titles making their debut on Stadia this spring and summer. Before they land anywhere else, first on Stadia. In addition to these first on Stadia games, we're happy to announce a pair of remarkable entries into two beloved franchises are coming to Stadia. Prepare to mow down extraterrestrial invaders on land and battle flotillas of fearsome foes in the skis across two classic gaming series. Take a look at what's coming. Lost Worlds Beyond the Pages narrative driven atmospheric puzzler set inside the pages of Young Girl's Diary, following an immersive story by renowned, renowned games writer Rihanna Pratchett. Players guide an inspiring author through the wondrous fantasy world of Historia, where words wield immense power. In Lost Worlds, beyond the page, players interact with worlds themselves to solve challenging puzzles and unique platform segments to progress through an evolving landscape. Winner of over a dozen game awards and accolades, players will leap through the diary pages to uncover an emotional tale of loss and personal growth that will test the protagonist, Izzy, as she embarks on the highly decorated groundbreaking adventure. A new remade version of Panzer Dragon Game, true to the original with improved graphics controls that suit modern gaming standards. On a far lone planet, you encounter two dragons awoken from ancient times, armed with a deadly gun from the past and the guidance of your armored blue dragon. You must fulfill the destiny and keep the prototype dragon from reaching the tower or die trying. That sounds interesting. And there is a video to go along with that. Um, features. Pilot through seven unbelievably realistic levels ranging from tropical blue ocean cities to intricate subterranean ruins. Fight the prototype dragon who appears together with the giant dragonflies, frightening man-sized wasps, giant sandworms and lethal flying battleships. Attack approach from all sides, enemies quickly and without mercy with improved 360 degree controls and lock on target. Alright, the next one is Serious Sam the Collection. And that has a video with it as well. Step into the shoes of the legendary action hero Sam Sirius Stone and experience one of the most explosive shooter game series of all time as you save the world from a merciless Asian invasion. A merciless alien invasion. Visit the ruins of ancient Egypt and roam through the vivid arenas of South America, fighting seemingly never-ending hordes of enemies using an extremely destructive arsenal, including shotguns, heavy laser rockets, launchers, a huge cannon and an iconic minigun. Tired of playing alone? Go to war against mental hordes with up to 16 players online or 4 players in co-op blasting your way through the campaign or the standalone survival. Sorry to interrupt there, but up to 16 players online, this... <sighs> Again, I'll do another video again into more depth. Serious Sam Collection includes all content from Serious Sam HD, the first encounter, Serious Sam HD, the second encounter, and Serious Sam 3 BFE, including the Legend of Beast and Jewel of the Nile expansions. And then we have another game here Stacks on Stacks. On Stacks. Stacks on Stacks on Stacks is a zany 3D tower builder. Play as the Master Stacker, Rocket who must use her psychic helmet to clean up the colourful bricks falling all over Madcap World. Build stable towers by executing architectural feats of balancing. Incorporate any array of mixed up materials such as famous works 
of R, aquariums, magnets, and more into your gravity defying structures. All while, all while, defend your towers against invading ghosts, a fireball breathing dragon, and other outlandish hand hazards. Once finished, especially destroy what you built by knocking down your completed towers with a giant wrecking ball. Stax includes an extensive single player mode as well as local co op split screen services versus options to the game with a friend. Spitlings. You know what the problem is with multiplayer games, is right? The other players. It's always their fault if you lose. We've got the perfect game to blame your friends for the incapability splittings. The action arcade chaos game up for four players is a modern take on the hardcore classic. You're in control of a spitling, a charming rectangular creature with teeth that can spit or use to jump. Makes no sense, who cares, it's fun. Features. Classic hardcore gameplay meets modern design sensibility. Action packed, highly engaging, scream at your friends fun, up to four friends multiplayer. If one falls, all restart. Play 100 plus level story mode with cutscene animations. Beat the clock to unlock 30 plus themes and characters. And don't forget, late today we will be updating Borderlands 3 with Moxie Heist and the Broken Hearts Day seasonal event. These new games are just the latest additions to a growing library of games you'll be playing on Stadia in the coming months. To be the first to know what's coming next, follow Stadia on Twitter and Facebook for up to the second updates. And that's the end by the Stadia team. But yeah, thank you for listening. Um, I don't mind reading these community updates just for those of you who'd rather have it on in the background than read it yourselves. But um, if you enjoyed that, please like, subscribe, don't forget to hit that notification bell, and have a lovely day. See ya.